Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be filming a what I bought in the sales haul, obviously from looking at the title. I'm going to be putting out things from various shops. Um, I've got Calf Kidston, White Company, uh, Tiger and TK Maxx. Now, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to call it what I bought in the sales. So if I haven't, then that's why you're probably confused from what I just said. Um, because some of these things um, I didn't buy in the sale, basically, but they're still cheap. So, for example, there's some things I bought from TK Maxx. Actually, all the things I bought from TK Maxx aren't uh, from the sale. Um, but quite a few things are. So it's kind of like slash kind of bargain haul slash sales haul. Don't know what I'm going to call it yet. You'll know already, so well done me for thinking of a title, finally. What am I even going on about? I honestly don't know anymore. So I need to put some like things behind me. Um, I've only, this lamp looks pretty cool here, but I've just got that shelf there. I need to put some like sort of backdrop things. Maybe some, maybe some picture, a picture or some pictures up here. Um, I'm dressed really casually, yeah, I'm sitting with my knee up. I'm dressed really casually um, right now because I've been doing a lot of vlogging today and I just can't be bothered to dress up. I'm gonna start off really quickly uh, with the non-sale items. So there are a few things that are non-sale. The first shop I went to was TK Maxx and I picked up this cosmetic holder. Um, it's called a cosmetic organizer actually. Um, and it's a 16 compartment, compartment cosmetics tray and it was only 6 99 um, and it's by Clearly Chic. Um, there's a space here, it tells you at the bottom of the holder, like I um, don't think you can see there, but it tells you where you put your things, so like eyeliner, brushes, nail polish, mascara, eyeshadow, obviously you can put like things where you want to put them but I needed one of these because I've just um don't, I don't know where to put makeup anymore like I put it in my makeup bag and I'm just like rooting through looking for things I think I'm gonna um put some things in here I've got one of these acrylic like drawer things um, as well so um, I think this will go really nice with it and I think 6 99 is a bargain as I've said I've been doing a lot of vlogging recently um I have done and completed vlogmas which is really good i'm really happy with myself and i'm thinking of creating a new blog um which is going to be on wordpress and the wordpress sounds old-fashioned it's going to be on wordpress not blogger which I've, I've talked about in my in my weekly blog um which is coming up probably for you if this video hasn't um gone up if this, if this video has gone up beforehand then it's obviously uh you haven't seen it yet but I am creating a new blog and I saw this book in um, more about the new blog at some point. Um, I saw this book in TK Maxx, it's called Blogging for Creatives. Now I know we can get a lot of information on Google and I Google tons of things all the time, constantly Googling things. But I saw this book and it was only 5 99 and sometimes it's really good to just have something visual and all the information that you want in one book. Um, it's got how designers, artists, crafters and writers can blog to make contact, win business and build business, build successes, sorry. Um, and it's got lots of things about PR in here, um, like HTML, it's just like a bundle of joy for bloggers. Saves me having to Google a lot of things, and, but I will still be Googling. So that was a brilliant find. I love TK Maxx for books, absolutely love it. That's like the section I go to first. I also picked up this um, in TK Maxx, this is the last item from it. And I've been looking for something to put my Lush bath bombs. I don't actually have that many Lush bath bombs. I think I've got one so far. So it's gonna look a little bit uh, lost in this box, but in the future when I get more. Um, and I thought this was quite a cool box. I might change it in the future because I can use this box for many things. I can use it in the larder, um, I'm gonna use it in the bathroom obviously at first. And I thought it was good because it's got a little like, it's like a, reminds me of like a chicken hen, like where they keep the eggs, like cage thing. Um, but at least I'd be able to see the bath bombs in it rather than having like a box. Because there were loads of like wooden boxes and um, you just wouldn't be able to see uh, what you've got. Um, so I thought that would look really nice in the bathroom and it's kind of like a, I don't know what wood it is. I have no idea. It's also got these handles which kept making a lot of noise in TK Maxx. Um, that was only 6 99 though. 
Moving on to Tiger, because there are a couple of things I also got that weren't in sale. And, but you know, if you've been to Tiger, um, you'll know that everything in there is so cheap. It's almost like you're in a sale all the time you're in there. I saw this in Tiger and I thought, oh no, it's one of those like things that's gonna be like a fad. But I looked inside and I was like, how brilliant. I just had to get it, I just had to get it. It's a, I'm your personal food and exercise diary see it there and it was only I think three pound um, and inside is what it looks like that's the first page and then the second page so it's got a uh, day and your goals um, exercises weight and the strength of the exercise uh, again here exercise distance and time um, brain exercises <laughs> You can tick how many times you've laughed that day and also how many hours of sleep you've had and then how many cups of water you've drank and how many coffee cups you've drank. I like how they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coffee cups. Don't think I'll be getting up to ten, but you know. And they've got like a dinner plan here for breakfast, lunch, dinner and also snacks. Um, they've got a note section and things that don't count because I was in motion whilst eating them. So. Um, I guess like most of the things I eat. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so I thought that was brilliant. I wasn't at first. I thought it was a bit like I don't know. When I saw the front cover, I was like, oh no. When I looked inside, I was thinking, this is amazing. I just have to get this, and I have to exercise now. <laughs> I have wanted to, wanted to do a lot of yoga, um, which on the Yoga of Adrienne channel, I did a lot of that last year, and amazing. I tweeted the other day asking for help. Um, with actually no not the other day i tweeted today asking for help uh, with other videos that i could follow i had some great feedback um so i will be doing some exercise even though i'm not pressuring myself like i said on my twitter i've decided not to pressure myself i'm just going to do what i want when i want if i want to exercise i will if i want to eat unhealthy i will if i don't i won't so there we go also from tiger as i'm getting organized and it's new year um i found the magnetic weekly planner now this planner is completely magnetic on the back and it's got a face for the month it's got all the days of the week um, a little box that you can tick off if you've completed it and a note section it's pretty simple for a pen and a little rubber i bought this because i've actually organized two planners that are on their way and uh, you're probably thinking why she bought this well i thought this would be good to have on the fridge to so fabio and i know what we're doing so Sometimes like he has clubs, um, on after school clubs that he has to go to and like, help out with. I might have somewhere to go that day, I might have a driving lesson or it'd just be a good thing to have on the fridge so we can have like a visual calendar. I do have a calendar in the kitchen but I usually use that just for dates so this would be a good one for like what we're doing and then we can rub it off in the week. Uh, we can also put our meal plans on here so we can both see it. So that's my... Uh, uh, non sale haul. Now, on to the things that I actually bought in the sale. The first shop I went into was the White Company. I love the White Company so much. I go in there every single time I pass it. Um, I don't often buy things because of the prices, um, but I occasionally treat myself. I'm always looking out for new bedding, and they had a load of bedding on sale at the front. So, if you've got a store near you, I'd go in there and see if they've got bedding because I found a fitted sheet. I know it's not the most exciting thing, um, but it was 50% off. It's just a white um, Egyptian cotton one. Um, it's a double um, and it's a 200 thread, 200 thread count. Um, and it was 15 pound. So it was 30 pound, uh, half price is now 15. The reason why it's so cheap is because obviously it's a sale, but um, it was just because it was a display one. So either they had it on the bed in the shop when they've taken it off or they've had this one out on display for a long time um, and there's nothing wrong with it at all obviously I'll wash it before I use it I was like we always need pitted sheets the one I have on the bed right now is white company one um, and the quality is amazing so I thought better get that now while it's in the sale and last shop I went to was Kaf Kirsten, and I picked up some wrapping paper now you're probably thinking why I mean my mum was like, why do you buy wrapping paper? Like, you could have gone to Tesco's and it would be there a lot cheaper. I, but I love Kaf Kids and wrapping paper so much. And I love their designs. And um, I might also use this for some flat lays, like background flat lays. Um, 
and it was £2.50 and the print is so so cute I can imagine this would be good for like spring birthdays and it's lots of flowers on it um, but it could be for any birthday it's not a Christmas wrap I thought that Kafka Kirsten was only going to have Christmas stuff in the sale but actually they had a lot of um, non-Christmas stuff the girl said it was actually the biggest uh sale she they had in the shop all year like last christmas it was mainly christmas stuff whereas this year it's been like loads of non-christmas stuff so if you're near a cap i'd go in and see because they've got an amazing sale and oh I need to take a breath i've been talking so quick i've got a lot of things to do that's why i'm like blah, blah, blah. i last sale item because the next one wasn't a sale item i kind of lied before um we need some tea towels i kept saying to fabio we need tea towels and he wouldn't believe me he said that we don't need new tea towels but we do because all our tea towels are um, just apart from a few are very old and some of them have got little holes in them and uh yeah i mean sounds i mean makes me sound like we have really horrible things because we don't we have lots of nice things um it's just our tea towels are lacking in some brightness i don't know they need we needed some like something more fun in our tea towel collection and i spend a lot of time in the kitchen so i think tea towels it's good to have something nice because i can look at them funny noise outside i saw these tea towels and they were six pound fifty and when i saw them and i saw that they were on sale i was like i had to get them they have cute little cats on them look how cute that is um you would have all seen this print um it's been in the shop uh, i think all, all of the year it's also got a little toggle here that you can hang it on something like this so there's the white one with the cats and it's also the gray print with the cats i thought that was really good for six pound fifty you can probably get cheaper tea towels elsewhere um but because i wanted something nice and bright to brighten up the kitchen i thought that was brilliant and i love cats so much so that kind of was a win-win for me and they were 13 pound for two of these so it's a pretty good bargain last thing uh, from calf kidston was a top and i've been looking for stuff in the sale and i haven't really been that successful i love stripes so much and i saw this top was in the sale i'm not in this i saw this top um and it was was it in the sale actually it was in the sale i lied before i'm getting so confused this top was in the sale um and it was 25 pound and it was meant to be 45 and it's a cute little um striped pink top and it's got little buttons here on both sides and i thought it'd be really nice just with some jeans and some boots um i just love it really anyways i'm gonna end this <laughs> weird haul here i don't even know what i'm chattering on about anymore i think that when i film sometimes i just like the first thing that comes out in my head i just say i don't plan these videos like i'm sure some people like write a script for theirs because they always sound amazing but i guess it comes with um practice but i will leave you guys i will see you next week for another video like this and also on sunday for the weekly vlog um and uh i hope you've all had a good week so far and i will see you next week also like if you enjoyed this not down up <laughs> and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next week goodbye guys